In the name of Allah, the Lord of mercy, the giver of mercy. Muslim doctors have contributed a huge amount to healthcare in general and frankly a huge amount to our national health service. What if we could make it that us, by being a doctor, you could become a better Muslim? And where you are of value is to be united and strong, but also to play a crucial role in the British Medical Association and in the Royal Colleges. The key mission of the MDA is to inspire, to empower and to support people to live healthier lives. We aim to do this in a faith-sensitive and culturally sensitive manner. For us to truly understand and support individuals in a holistic manner, it's important that we understand and appreciate their faith and culture. And yet isn't it striking that so many things got forgotten in the thousand years between the golden age of Islam and the NHS today? And I would put it to you that as people start to argue that our tax-funded healthcare system, which is free at the point of delivery, might be reaching its sell-by date, that the advent of genomics, which will allow us to identify and anticipate disease, will mean that our population-based funding system, where the whole population share the risk, the financial and clinical risk for everyone, that our healthcare system is very well placed. And we will be able to show a very compassionate and civilized healthcare system in the same way that we saw during the golden era of Islam over a thousand years ago. Sometimes I'm criticized because they say throughout my career I've always talked about Asian people and black people wanting to find a voice and I go around trying to encourage people to set up their own organizations. Why do we set up our own organizations? Well we do because sometimes we are not allowed to play a part in mainstream organizations. My message to you, get involved in leadership, um, gaining knowledge in the foundations of leadership sciences so we can drive the change that we want to see. Many of our volunteers are actually non-medical and include social workers, healthcare contractors, chaplains, we even have a few lawyers, although I'm not sure exactly what they're doing. Assalamu alaikum, my name is Saeed from the Muslims Give Blood campaign. This campaign is about promoting blood donation across the Muslim community. My name is Dr. Amr Sheikh, I'm a GP from North East London, so director of the British Cupping Society. Uh, we're an organisation hoping to bring cupping to the masses by making it a safe procedure and also making it evidence-based uh, so that we can incorporate these into into the general healthcare system. Hiya, I'm Salam and I am a pharmacist. I'm volunteering today at the MDA event um, to create a fun environment for Muslims to meet. I'm Syra, I'm a GP trainee, training to be a general practitioner. This is a wonderful opportunity to network with fellow Muslim professionals. Here at this event with my friends uh, to network and to meet new people. I'm not actually a medic myself, I'm actually a doctor, I work in investment banking, but my brother's a medic, he suggested I turn up and meet some interesting people, that's why I'm here. Okay, my name is Munaf, I'm from Mim Associates, we are a specialist medical accountant at the MDA event, so we are just enjoying it. Uh, Usman Saber, I'm a confidence and well-being coach for British Asians. Working with healthcare providers to provide them with the guidance that they need to treat patients in a sort of faith and culturally sensitive manner so they don't alienate those very people that they're trying to help. My name is Saeed Abdallah. I am a chest physician. About nine years ago, someone asked me to hold the Friday prayer in the hospital where I work. I suppose I'm the only one in the UK who wears a bow tie and holds the Friday prayer. And one of my greatest passion was to recite the Quran and translate it. But there is no set that has the same person reciting and reading the translation. And I hope to be this one. In the words of a true general practitioner, we believe in patient-centered care and putting patients first. It really upsets me when sometimes the community is portrayed in a light that is not reflective of the incredible work that all of you do, day after day. We will always hopefully have a Muslim Doctors Association and I look forward to coming to your 20th anniversary.